Hello, everyone at Carnegie Learning. I want to thank you for this opportunity to introduce myself and to provide you with a sample lesson of what it would be like in a tutoring session. My name is Shelley Feaster, and I have 13 plus years of experience in education. Uh, my undergrad is in bachelor's of elementary ed, grades one through eight, master's is in technology, and I have a plus 30 that includes three certifications to teach um, online from my home and being able to teach wherever I am. And um, so I'm very excited uh, about possibly um, being able to work for Carnegie Learning and doing this. Most of my about myself, so now let me transition into what um, a demo lesson might would be like. I'm so glad to see you. Let's see who else do we have on today. Hi, Jeanette and Riley. I'm waiting for one more. Let's see. Charles. Charles, hi. How was your birthday weekend? Yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of friends. Good. Got to eat lots of cake, lots of ice cream. Oh, good, good. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. All right, let's continue on with what we've been working on is being a fluent reader, right? Reading smoothly. And then also part of that is reading with understanding and comprehension. We've um, talked about how to sound out words that are really large and really big. But now we need to also talk about understanding the meaning of those words that we may not be familiar with. And sometimes they're really large words, but sometimes... They may also be smaller words and you just don't know, may not know. We're going to talk about three words today that are going to be in the story that we're reading about pandas. Yeah, you like pandas, Jeanette? I like pandas too. Do all of you know what a panda looks like? If you see, I saw some pandas on the news recently. I'm going to share with you real quick. Look at this quick little video. And this is where I would show them the video of the pandas and spend a few minutes and talk about what the pandas are eating and and we would just spend a little time on that with the panda okay and then after the, we've talked about the panda a little bit we built a little background knowledge and then we would go right into the text that we would be reading so let's read and look for words that we may not know and their meanings so that we can look for clues on what they might mean. Level context, which we're just going to simply say there by using the clues, okay, or the context clues. Okay, remember, like a detective, you're reading, and we're not just reading to see how smooth and fluently we can read, but we want to read so that we understand it, so that we'll be able to answer questions about it, so that we'll be able to tell someone else what it was we just read. We would summarize it for someone. So let's look first at number one. Is there anyone that would like to read number one for us? Okay, Jeanette can read number one. And Jeanette would read through number one. We might would discuss it. And we continue to fill out and, you know, how do we know this? Because the text says, magnificent, a place for you to each put a word. And I want you to each put a word. And then, you know, when you can own that word is when you can make a sentence with that word. So on this first line, I want you to write one of those words. And on these next two lines, I want you to write me a sentence as best you can, as best spelling as you can and then talk about each sentence, each meaning, each word. And very good job. And then I would ask at the end again 